Hi guys, welcome back to the garden. I'm Naomi, your newbie gardener hair garden in Zona 6B, St. Louis, Missouri. And it is finally, finally guys, it is finally a cool morning. We are coming off of a week, seven day stretch of temperatures in the hundred plus degrees, right? It has been very, very hot. We're gonna have some reprieve from that heat this heat this week. Right? We will be sitting at temperatures in the 80s. What? All right, so that means that your little gardener friend here, Naomi, is going to be in the garden getting some things done. Now take a look at this patio. You are looking at the standards that we purchased from Home Depot a couple weeks ago. You are looking at the arborvitae sitting in containers. You are looking at a boxwood. You're looking at, who's this beauty right here? This is, tell me your name, sweetheart. Queen of Sweden. Queen of Sweden. All right. We have our Shirley's bouquet. We have our Shirley's bouquet. We have two more queens of Sweden. In other words, we have a patio filled with plants that we have been collecting all season that we now need to start getting in the ground, right? I'm going to start it early because I'm a solo gardener and it takes me a while to do things, right? And then I do get tired and take a lot of breaks. So today we're going to start um, by taking some of these beautiful plants from containers, transplanting them into the ground. We are going to be doing some weeding. I'll show you some of the beds here to show you how the grass just took over some of my beds, right? So the, this is going to be a chore weekend in the garden. All right, and take a look. The little uh, section that we planted last week is uh, looking good, right? It is growing in. The hydrangeas are settling down nicely. And I'll need to add a top layer of compost and soil. And I did get a comment from one of my viewers that, hey, you need to stake the willows. And I will do that. That will be on my list of things to do this weekend. Alrighty. Alright, guys. Sit back, relax, grab your coffee, your tea, your glass of wine. You know you like that little caramel ice cream. I love it. And enjoy the video. And I will see you guys in just a few. Bye.
gotten some of the weeding done. All right, still not perfect. Still have a lot to do. Okay, but a lot better than it was a few minutes ago, right? I'm going to switch task really quick and we're going to get into moving this rose. This Margaret Merle, as mentioned earlier, is just not doing well in the space. I'm actually going to go ahead and we're going to take her out today and I'm going to replace her with Shirley's bouquet. I'm going to place Margaret for now where we removed the knockout roses. I should be able to fit all three there of the Margaret Merrells. So we'll pin her, we'll put her back there for the time being and then hopefully um, if she works in that space she will remain if not we can always move her out to put something else there all right ah it looks like she's going to come out real easy guys i just went in with a shovel and pulled it out and um, you know when you see that jiggle in the rose, so I know she's going to come out really, really easily. Let me set this up here. Let's see. I'll try to get her out with as much of a root ball as possible. Yeah, you see that jiggle? She's saying, take me out. She has no problems with being moved. Oh my gosh, look at that, guys. She came up with just two, well, three inserts of the shovel. Let's see how she was rooting in there. This is going to be interesting. Oh wow, hardly any roots. Huh, that explains a lot, right? Look at this baby. She came out just as she did in the one gallon container, she, she did not root in the space. That is not good. So now we know why she, she was definitely struggling here. Let's go ahead and get the other two out real quick. Poor baby. She was asking me for help all this time and I was just waiting her to do something on her own. Alright. Some of this mulch off. We can always get new mulch. Did you see how easily she came up guys? She did not root any at all. One year in the space and she did not root. That is not a good thing. I wonder if I need to address any issues in the soil. But the soil looks really good, right? It, it looks it looks like happy soil to me. But hey. Alright, let's see if it is the same for number two. If it's just gonna be that same little two shovels in and out. Oh yeah, it's going to be the same thing, guys. Because with that first insert, again, she moved. So there are no roots. I'm not even breaking any roots as I get in there. Not cool. Sorry, I just walked past the camera. And out she comes. Yeah, yeah. Look at that again. Oh, no roots. Come on out, Poppy. Oh, there she goes. She didn't develop much of a root ball at all. This is the same root ball that we planted her with. Good.
All right, so she was definitely struggling in the space, guys. Definitely struggling in the space. Poor baby. All right. I guess we know what to expect. Let me go ahead and get the other one out here. And we get the new ladies in. And then we get uh, Margaret Merrill transferred to the new bed. Alright guys, this is interesting, right? So this one was a little difficult to get out of the ground. When I got her out, you just saw me struggling with her on um, when I sped up the video there. She actually came out as two clumps. Okay? This I think is the original. This I think is the original clump. See, I haven't cut it anywhere, right? This is the original um, stock hair. And then look at this one. And then this is this piece that was stuck in there that didn't want to come out. This one, she hardly has any roots, but oh yeah, I guess this is her main um, tap root there. And then this one came out with her. Huh, interesting, right? Totally separate from the root ball that we just pulled out. Let's compare the leaves really quick, hold on. Because I know I had roses in here at one point. I had Mill of the Floss in that bed. Um, let's do a quick comparison. Elongated leaves. Interesting. Do you think the leaf structure looks a little different? I mean, the canes look the same, right? <laughs> you, can, you can't tell a rose by the canes, can you? But leaves, leaves do look different. Um, because, for example, if I'm looking at um, Gertrude Jekyll, Gertrude Jekyll's leaves are different from that of Munstead Wood and so on. So leaves really do help to tell you who you're working with. And I must admit that her leaves are a little different on this one. This is very, very interesting. Here are the three original plantains. One, two, and three. And then we got this one that was really growing like a weed. This is one that I had put back because it was so long. Look how it came out. Huh. It would be interesting to see if this is a different rose. But alright, let's not have her sit here. I don't even know if she's going to root again based on how I pulled her out. But um, let's get the Sally Holmes in and then we'll get these ladies planted. And I may plant this one. I may try to find a separate spot for this section just to see who she is. Because something is telling me it might be a different rose. All right, getting ready to put the first um, Shirley's bouquet in. Let me tell you guys, I am so curious about that rose. I'm so curious about that rose. I know from sea to bloom, I know that you are familiar with roses and plants and what they do. Do you think it is the same Margaret Merrill or could it be a sapling of the um, mill of the floss that we had planted there? But let me, I don't think middle of the floss, I don't think her leaves look that way. I don't think that's what her leaves, I don't think her leaves look like that, but I can't quite remember. All right, Charlotte's bouquet is very, very thorny, a very thorny little rose. She is so thorny, she is intimidating. She's like once did wood thorny. Oh, see if I can get her out of her container without hurt, hurting myself too much. Surely is intimidating because I cannot see one spot that does not have her um, horn. I'm trying to get her up without having to experience the horns. Get her out anyway. Come on, Mama. Get on out there for me. Yeah, Mama. There you go. You 
are so beautiful. They are gorgy, gorgy, gorgy. Just need you to come on out for me. Remember, roses in my garden are not allowed to stick me. No, no, no. All right, here she is. Not deeply, heavily rooted, but she's been doing well in the container. Ah, oh, there you go. So she should do well in the ground, right? That was number one. Number one took me a couple minutes. Let me go ahead and get the other two in here. Then we'll see what it looks like. Okay guys, on to spot number two. So we have Shirley's bouquet transplanted on the outside of the planted on the outside of the fence, and now we're transplanting the Margaret Merrill. We're gonna place her in this section for the time being. Alright. Um, as I don't have a spot for her right now in the garden. I know that she can't survive cold winters because she died all the way back to the ground last winter, right? And maybe this might be a better spot for her. So we will see. I'm still curious, still curious guys, about this. All right, this came out of the hole when we were trying to dig up um, uh, Margaret. All right, and I'm, I'm saying, I'm kind of curious. It looks like even two, two roses, right? Here's one, are you seeing? Yes, here's one primary, what's this, stem or taproot here, and then another on this side. I'm really curious who this is. And like I said, the only thing that comes to mind is that I had planted, Mill of the Floss was planted in that bed previously, but that was almost a year plus ago. Would this be, could this be a sapling from her? I don't know. Or could it just be another Margaret Merle, but it came up so separate, because look. Uh, let me see if I can find the one she came off of. Guys, I'm messy when I work um, in the garden, okay? So don't be offended by it. This is this is the root ball. When I was pulling her off, she, she was attached to this root ball. And they came up separately. They broke apart when I was taking them out. So she was she's not directly attached to this one. She's a standalone rose. And I am curious, 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 curious. I'm going to plant her all by herself just to see what happens. All right, so enough enough talking and <laughs> enough. let me get to planting in this, uh, what looks like a messy spot, but that is all right. It is just the dirt and some messy landscape fabric and a little bit compared to the rest of the garden, just a little bit of grass in the bed. Okay, let me get these guys in here really quick and then we'll move on to hopefully our workstation number three but we'll see how much time we've got left.
babies welcome to your new home grow and be beautiful Alrighty, so we are all done. The serendipity alliums are in. Margaret Merrill is in. Uh, we transplanted, what was that? The Shirley's bouquet. We did some weeding. We did some deadheading. So we were busy. It was a busy week um, taking advantage of the cooler temperatures, trying to beat the fall rush. Right? We still got a lot of plants to get into the ground and we need to rethink um, a lot of things that we've got going on in the garden. But of course, that will be, that will be in the next video. All right, so for now, let's see. Margaret and Serendipity Alliums in. I need to add a fresh layer of uh, compost, right? I'm going to top dress all of my beds with compost this season, guys. I've decided that I'm going to sh uh, stir, hmm, I'm going to, what's that word? Transition away from the bark mulch, the black mulch that I have down. I think the compost is going to be a better fit for me and for the plants. So let me go ahead and end the video here as always. Thank you all for stopping by. All right, I really did enjoy spending this time with you in the garden. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider hitting that subscribe button and don't forget the notification bell so that you will be notified once I've got those new videos uploaded. As always, you guys are awesome. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.